as this gentleman, Dean Alejandro here, and I wanted to keep the theme going. Last week, I went ahead and talked about packing and how I was packing with my underwear and kind of a cheaper solution. And the week before, I was talking about testosterone and bottom health growth and a kind of situations that you kind of have to go through and experience. So like I said, I wanted to keep the theme going. I have a couple of products that I wanted to review. Um, but since I do my videos a little bit differently and I don't edit my videos, I wanted to go ahead and show the unboxing portion of it. And then I'm going to actually go sh and show more in depth as far as how the products are intended to use, my experience with them. Uh, before I go any more in depth, as you know, this is my experience, um, and I guess it's kind of rated for mature audiences. I'm not going to show stuff too, too personal, but I will have different experiences based off what I go through. You already know that. Uh, so, first and foremost, I do have two different STPs um, that I am going to be reviewing, and I'm also going to be reviewing possibly my Mr. Limpy that I do have because it's my favorite. Um, and then I also have two briefs of Brodeo. So I'm going to kind of put all of those together um, in different orders and, you know, review one with the other and individually. So this is a really good opportunity if you're maybe thinking, you know, to get a product or you're not really sure or you kind of just want to experience, you know, kind of through me. Um, if you have any other questions specifically before I put the videos out, make sure you comment them below and also make sure you subscribe so you can see them. And I mean, it's basically just seeing exactly what's in my pants. Now, personally, I don't use an STP. I haven't. Um, this is going to be my first experience. So you are going to be seeing it as going through what would be like if you've never used one your first time going through it, like literally. Um, I've only used a pack of Mr. Limpy, as you've kind of seen from my last video, even though I kind of, you know, showed how I packed with the sock. Like I said, I will be doing a Mr. Limpy review too, because absolutely my favorite. But first and foremost, I'm going to show you the different products. So that way, when we review them, you know, you'll see them up more in depth. First and foremost, we have the first gen MSL STP for short. I don't know why I'm putting it up to my face like that. It looks like it has pretty good suction. Um, so these are open right now, but I do want to go ahead and say that when I did get them in the mail, it was extremely discreet packaging. So if you are thinking about, you know, maybe getting one and you're not sure because um, the packaging or you don't want someone to know, they won't. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this. This is the short. All right. So I thought this was like suction, but it, it doesn't look like. So this, sorry, I've never actually, I should actually put it on. Okay, well, it feels like super realistic-ish. I feel like, like I know it's a STP, but like, if you look, like, I don't really see anywhere it's supposed to go in. Am I just, like, stupid? I mean, that's definitely where it should be coming out, right? All right. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, this was just the unboxing for this one. Like I said, this is the first gen STP. It comes in a bunch of different colors. I'm going to have a more in-depth review of each of them um, in a video. And I'm also going to type something out with all the details with the links and resources, how to get them as well. Alrighty. So this is the, uh, I believe this is the three in one because it has the rod. At first I was like, what the hell? Like seriously, when I got this in the mail, I was like kind of confused. Um, so this is the second generation, the three in one play pack a little bit bigger than the other one i'm gonna just open this well i'm gonna separate this first all right definitely can tell that this one is an sp for sure okay so this one right off the bat is a lot less like flexible, a lot, a lot less uh, realistic feeling. Like you can tell like it's, um, you know, more plastic, I guess. Not really plastic, but you know. Um, and this one, I feel like with the other one, you're it's just like when you pee, it's just gonna like flop. Like this one's kind of more like sticking out. 
and the balls are a lot harder too, which I'm not usually squishing them around. Now this is more obvious, like this, see this actually looks like the other one had a flap. This looks like it's more like a suction like area to put in. I don't know if you have to squeeze. Anyways, much, look, I can see you like literally, hello, through there. Okay, can you see me? That's kind of weird that way, right? Um, but this one, obviously, like, it looks more durable. Like, the other one, it feels, like, more realistic. But I feel, just right off the bat, not knowing them, um, that I'd want to use this one more. Now, this is a 3-in-1. I've always had mixed reviews about, you know, oh, for those who don't know what a 3-in-1 is, it's for play, it's for pee, and it's for packing. So, you can go and use this in a urinal. And you can also go and, you know, um, which our <laughs> audience is intended. Now, I don't know if my wife and I will be using this. I'm sure I can convince her for, you know, all educational purposes, um, just to actually see, to be honest. Because this is the rod, I'm pretty sure. It looks like a finger. I'm not mature enough for this, JK. Huh. Yeah, so I'm assuming it's going to go like this. Again, this is me only knowing basic information off of it, not using it. Just a beginner, just like you, almost like Googling it, except not getting flagged. Except maybe YouTube won't like this video because it doesn't like some of the content. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try these out, like I said, in detail. In depth. So make sure to check those out. Now... With these two products that I do have, done this, um, I have these super comfortable, which I'm not going to talk about them too much now, pair of Rodeos that just came out. Now, these ones specifically are for, um, of course, it's a packer like Rodeos, but this is for the STP specifically, STP, STP uh, specifically. So I'm going to be doing this review with both of those and I have already used it with Mr. Limpy um, and then I'm going to give my opinion on that too. They're so comfortable. And then with that, I also have the classic Rodeos Packers that um, packing underwear that I'm going to do with the two products and then also, also Mr. Limpy as well. Ugh, sorry. So yeah, so I wanted to go ahead and do an intro because now they're opened and you can actually see them again more in depth in next week's video. So make sure you subscribe if you have any questions specifically. Like I said, please let me know. Um, I'm going to try to do a video on them, but I am going to give a more in depth detailed review uh, in like, I'm going to type it up and put it somewhere, maybe like on my WordPress or something or somewhere where you can get to it because there's so much information that's out there and it's, um, you know, of course going to be per you know, your preferences, your body type, your situation, but I want to make sure that it's out there for everyone that needs it or, you know, basically needs it. So until next week, I'll see y'all later. Have a good one.